Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna integrate two of our smart home products here. We're gonna integrate our Amazon Echo. I've got an Echo Plus and an Echo Dot. And then we're gonna integrate our Samsung SmartThings Hub. So we're gonna take all of those devices that we've integrated with Samsung already and we're gonna stuff them right into the Echo and the Alexa ecosystem. All right, well, here we go. We're going to jump right into the Amazon Alexa application here. And of course, we're going to head up to the top left into the menu here, and we're going to go straight down to skills here. And what we're looking for is our Samsung Smart Thing skill. So keep in mind this video, it does assume you already have Samsung Smart Thing set up. If you don't, I'm gonna put the link up at the top right right now. So we're just gonna click on Samsung Smart Things here, Samsung Connect, and we're gonna click Enable, and then you will need to sign in with your account. Now, I kinda of skipped that step here. So now, right after that, what you need to do is you need to select your hub. So this is your Samsung Smart Things hub, and you can see I only have one to pick from, but if you had multiple, you would have to pick from multiple. So then you have to authorize, and basically these two devices are now connected, that's about it. So we're gonna hit Discover Devices, and what this is going, going to do is this is gonna go through and bring everything in from Samsung Smart Things. So you can see all the icons in blue here, Although we're seeing doubles of lots of things, and I'll explain that in a second, the blue means that's what's just been brought in here as part of the Samsung Smart Things integration here. So now in groups, we don't have anything else added, but in scenes, there are a ton of things added here. And what's come in from Samsung Smart Things are our scenes from that application, as well as our routines. Now here's a number of scenes and routines right here, the Jack Bedtime being a scene, and then, you know, goodbye, I'm back. Those are routines that I built here in Samsung SmartThings. So we're just gonna skip over to the Samsung SmartThings app. You can see there's Jack Bedtime again in the scenes. I'm going to create another scene just to show you how to actually get this to show up in Alexa and therefore have your Echo or your Echo Plus, you know, go ahead and run a routine or a scene for you. So I'm just gonna set my office light, a number of parameters here, and I'm gonna call this work time. So now I have my scene set up, I've just saved it, and it's gonna populate here in Samsung SmartThings. So, now, of course, as we head back to the Alexa app, that's not going to be down there at the bottom. There's no work time scene. So what do you actually have to do? Up at the top, there's actually a button to click on that says Discover Scenes. So it takes about a minute, like it says, it runs through and it will re-import scenes. And you can see up top left, it just said Alexa found a new scene called work time and there it is. So that's how you bring in new scenes. Now keep in mind that you can actually enable and disable each routine or scene and even your devices as well. They can be enabled or disabled for control through your Echoes or through Alexa. So now continuing back here, you know, here's one of my routines. Now there's something interesting being said right here. And I'm just gonna stop and pause here for a second. This is a smart things routine, but it's disabled because it contains devices unsupported by Alexa. So this will be kind of the first disappointment moment for you, I think. Alexa cannot trigger on or off your security system. So what you have to keep in mind there is what you would have in your home if that was allowed is somebody could walk into your home and actually just say, Alexa, turn off the security system or Alexa, run, I'm back or something to that effect and maybe figure out how to disable your security system. So that's why this is not possible and I can't run any routine that triggers on or off my security system. 
So now continuing on here, I'm just gonna show you another routine and you'll be able to see one that doesn't have the security system. You can see it doesn't say that it's not enabled. So now what I'm going to do now, I'm just going back into the Samsung SmartThings skill. Here's where you can figure out all the different things you can say to Samsung SmartThings. I'm not gonna go through them all, but I am going to give you a demo here and I'll put notes as I run through each portion of the demo here on screen so you understand what I'm doing. Alexa, turn on night lighting off. Okay. Alexa, turn on night lighting on. Okay. Alexa, arm security system. Sorry, I couldn't find arm security system. Alexa, turn on goodbye. Hmm, I'm having trouble with reaching smart things. Alexa, turn on I'm back. Sorry, I couldn't find I'm back. Alexa, turn off basement lamp. Okay. Alexa, turn on basement lamp. Okay. Alexa, turn off Jack's lamp. A few things share that name. Which one did you want? Jack's light. Okay. Alexa, basement lamp to 90%. Okay. All right, well, there you go. So I know there's gonna be a little bit of disappointment here. The fact that you can't arm and disarm your security system there with Samsung SmartThings. Obviously, that's not great from a smart home or a home automation perspective here. But I think what you know you have to realize is that these companies, they've realized that they can't be 100% secure for you. And so they're not going to enable that kind of functionality with the security system. And I'll go one deeper here. The locks are, are also sometimes disabled here within uh, your Echo devices. So, you know, obviously that's not perfect, but everything else is working. Everything else can be accomplished through your Echo devices here. And so I hope that this video has worked out for you. If you have any other questions here, go ahead, leave them in the comments below. Happy to help you guys as always here. And uh, of course, I'd love to have you on the channel here as we go forward with both of those devices and I show you how to do just about everything out there with those two devices. So we'll see you next time.